Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Inside and Out. And Tony Anthony, part two, he becomes the grappler. We'll talk about it. Jack? January the 1st, 1982, County Hall in Charleston, South Carolina. Keith Larson versus Tony Anthony ended without a winner as a time limit draw. Uh, January the 2nd, Hampton Roads Coliseum in Hampton, Virginia. Private Jim Nelson defeated Tony Anthony. And then on the 6th of January, Ashland, Kentucky, Jim Garvin defeated Tony Anthony. January the 6th, 1982, WPCQ Studios in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ole Anderson and Ivan Koloff defeated Tony Anthony and Buddy Landale. Uh, January the 7th. Sumter County Exhibition Center in Sumter, South Carolina, Lord Alfred Hayes versus Tony Anthony. Then on the 9th, WTBS Studios in Atlanta, Georgia, Ron Bass defeated Tony Anthony. January the 9th at WTBS Studios in Atlanta, Ron Bass. I'm sorry, I got that uh, backwards. Let me back up. January the 7th, Sumter County Exhibition Center in Sumter, South Carolina, Lord Alfred Hayes versus Tony Anthony. Then on the night, WTBS Studios in Atlanta, uh, Ron Bass defeated Tony Anthony. And then in another tape in Mass Superstar and Super Destroyer defeated Tony Anthony and Grand Apollo. And then uh, February the 6th, Morristown, Tennessee, Vinny Valentino defeated Tony Anthony. Uh, February the 17th, 1982, WPCQ Studios in Charlotte, North Carolina, Ole Anderson and Stan Hansen defeated Tony Anthony and Rick Benefield. February the 25th, 82, Sumter County Exhibition Center in Sumter, South Carolina, Doug Vines versus Tony Anthony. March the 3rd, 1982, back at the WPCQ Studios in Charlotte, Private Don Carnoodle and Private Jim Nelson defeated Tony Anthony and Ron Ritchie. March 5th, 82, Jacobs Building at Chillowee Park in Knoxville, Tennessee, Tony Anthony defeated Rick Connors. March 15th, Clover High School in Clover, South Carolina, Bill White versus Tony Anthony, winner unknown. Uh, and then I guess also the same date at the high school in Chester, South Carolina, Carl Fergie and David Patterson versus Tony Anthony and Kelly Kaninsky. April the 11th, 1982, Dobbins, uh, Bennett Dome in Kingsport, Tennessee, Tony Anthony defeated Ken Timms. April the 17th, 1982, Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina, Jim Dalton defeated Tony Anthony. April the 21st, 82, Charlotte, North Carolina, Angelo Mosca defeated Tony Anthony. And then on the 21st in Charlotte, North Carolina, Sergeant Slaughter defeated Tony Anthony. And on the 22nd, Portsmouth, Virginia, Mike Davis defeated Tony Anthony. April the 23rd, 1982, Richmond Coliseum in Richmond, Virginia, David Patterson and Carl Fergie defeated Tony Anthony and Ray Stevens. WPCQ Studios in Charlotte on the 28th, Angelo Mosca and Killer Khan defeated Tony Anthony and Ron Ritchie. April the 30th, County Hall in Charleston, South Carolina, Ken Timms versus Tony Anthony, winner unknown. And then by August of 82, he would make his way to Mid-South Wrestling. He did win a lot of matches. <laughs> that was what I was going to ask. I think we need to go back and double check the uh, ones that Dobbins been at uh, Dome uh, High School there. Tony Anthony defeating Kim Timms. And, of course, the one at Jacobs Building, Shell Howie Park. Uh, we need to double check those. I think they might be misprints. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Vinny Valentino, well, didn't that eventually become uh, Ken Shamrock? No, no, that's uh, Vinny Valentino was a young guy, great shape, had kind of an Afro type haircut, mm -hmm. uh, different guy. Uh, Vince Torelli is what you're Vince thinking. Torelli Vince Torelli was, Torelli, yes, Vince yeah. Torelli was that yeah. guy, yes. By the way, there's no, no, when you're looking at this, you know, Tony Anthony had been wrestling long. Look at the people he got to wrestle against <laughs> just during this period, even though he got defeated a lot during this time. But look at the look at what he learned during that time. Because you know what? When you get beat up enough, Bruiser Brody did say this one time. He said, when you get beat up enough, you write it down. 
and you learn how to do it. So he's he's learning how to do it right now because when he gets to Mid South Wrestling, it changes. He kind of starts uh, and does get his big break, Rodney. All right, here we go. So we go to the Rapids Parish Coliseum, Alexandria, Louisiana, on August the twenty first, nineteen eighty two. It's Jesse Barr versus Tony Anthony, winner unknown, Municipal. Uh, Municipal Auditorium, Shreveport, Louisiana, on August the 27th, 1982. Tim Horner versus Tony Anthony, and that ended in time of a draw. Riverside Centroplex, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on August the 29th, 1982. Buck Robley defeated uh, Tony Anthony. Back at the Rapids Parish, Coliseum, Alexandria, Louisiana, on September the 5th, 1982. Jesse Barr versus Tony Anthony. And, of course, that must have been a return match from the previous time. Riverside uh, Riverside Centroplex in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. On September the 7th, 1982, Tim Horner versus uh, Tony Anthony, and that was a time limit draw. And then, then at that point, uh, Tony would get his big break as he becomes the mass grappler. 1980, and then we come up on uh, uh, September the 15th, 1982, at the Irish McNeil's Boy Club, Boys Club. It's the Grapplers, one and two, defeating Tim Horner and Johnny Rich. By the way, during this, this match is available to watch on YouTube. Go and watch this match because Lynn Denton in this match does the wrestling two dance and the knee lift in this match. Not very graceful, Eddie. <laughs> but he, he does it. <laughs> and it, I believe it was absolutely meant to be bad. It yeah. was meant to be that bad. Sure was. All right, now we come up to the Municipal Auditorium in Shreveport, Louisiana, on September the 24th, 1982. It's the grappler number two defeating Jesse Barr. Then we go to Irish McDill's Boys Club in Shreveport, Louisiana, on September 29th, 1982. Buck Robley defeated grappler number two. Uh, this was uh, well, this was a very interesting uh, uh, thing as well. Uh, it, it is available on YouTube as well. Uh, during this match, I'm, I'm guessing Iron Mike Sharp, was a baby face in, in uh, Louisiana? Apparently. I didn't I didn't realize this until I saw him at ringside with wrestling too, and they were keeping everybody away. I I, I want to make one little comment about this. Buck Robley left. He did he not leave there and come to Atlanta? Or did he leave there and become a booker in in the Southwest Championship Wrestling? Because the grapplers go to to Texas after they leave here. But it seems like they only became a tag team to go to Texas. And and you'll see what I'm talking about when Rodney goes through more of the uh, uh, showing what it's about. But Buck Robley beats, even, even after he gets his big break, Buck Robley has to beat him with the sleeper hold. All right, Rodney, go ahead. Well, you could see that obviously the outside interference from uh, Rusty Mike Dolan Wrestling too. Uh, allowed that to happen. It was uh, cheating going on there, obviously. Rapids Parish Coliseum, Alexander, Louisiana, on October the 9th, 1982. It's the grappler number two versus Mr. Olympia. Back at Rapids Parish Coliseum the same night is Buck Robley, Mike Sharp, and Mr. Wrestling 2 against the Iron Sheik and the Grapplers. Riverside, Centroplex, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on October the 12th, 1982. Mr. Wrestling 2 and Mr. Olympia defeat the Grapplers. Irish McNeil's Boy Club, Boys Club in Shreveport, Louisiana, on October 13th, 1982. Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia defeat the Grapplers. Irish, the, uh, Irish McNeil Boys Club again on October the 27th, 1982. Grappler number two versus Tony Atlas, winner unknown. Again at the Irish McNeil's Boys Club on October the 27th, 1982. It's Mr. Wrestling 2 and Buck Rubley defeating the Grapplers. Municipal Auditorium, Shreveport, Louisiana, November the 10th, 1982. Buck Robley and Mr. Wrestling 2 defeat Grappler 2 and Marty Lundy. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, then we have uh, become Aaron Anderson. That's right. Irish McNeil's Boys Club in Shreveport, Louisiana on uh, November the 10th again in 1982. Chavo Guerrero defeats Grappler number two, Lake Charles Civic Center, Lake Charles, Louisiana, on November the 13th, 1982. Kelly Kaninsky and Ted Allen defeat Grappler number two and Marty Lundy. The Grapplers will then make their way to Southwest Championship Wrestling, and they will go to Waco Convention Center, Waco, Texas, on November the 16th, 1982. The Grapplers versus Ken Lucas and Ricky Morton. Fantastic matches. Let me just tell you right now. Sam Houston Coliseum, Houston, Texas, on November the 26th, 1982. The Grapplers defeat Tiger Conway Jr. and Ricky Morton in a two-out-of-three-fall match. 
here's what I'm thinking. Did they just put Lynn Ditton and Tony Anthony together for a very short time, knowing they were going to uh, Southwest Championship Wrestling? It's very, very possible. Very possible. And that was the whole point of putting them together. They were going to be there for a while, and then they were going to – Did that? does that mean that Buck Robley was on his way out? Ernie Ladd was on his way in? It's, yeah. It's, it's, that sounds about right. And he was going because Buck Robley was actually in there after. Uh, wasn't Buck Robley there after? Uh, 1981, wasn't he in, in Atlanta in 1981? Didn't he do yes. the free book thing in the 1980s? Yes. So this would have been the second time Buck Robley was booking in. Um, I guess he was booking. Maybe he wasn't booking that. Maybe he was just working there. But uh, but I believe he might have went to book uh, there because he just – because that's where they end up. Don Carson is the manager of the Grapplers by the time he gets there. Very interesting stuff. We'll talk more about Southwest Championship Wrestling. This is where Tony Anthony gets his steam. This is where he actually gets that big, big, big push. Even though he got a great push there, he was going to get his wrestling too. He's going to get his, uh, Buck Robley in the main events. But this is when he get, he really gets his steam. Ken Lucas and Ricky Morton. Tremendous matches. If you have not seen them, you've got to see these matches. If you enjoyed this video, give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe to the page or go one step further. Hit that notification bell. And look down below. Tony Anthony, part one, down below. Go check it out. We'll see you in the next video right here on Pro Wrestling Inside Now.